Hey guys, um, it's been a little while since I've done like a an update video, I guess. So that's sort of what this is. Um, since we just had a cube sale this weekend, I've made quite a bit of progress on my Evan. So I figured I'd go ahead and do a an updated equipment video and just share my progress with Evan so far. So thanks to Red Leaf Eye, got some more totems. Hunters didn't really go very well. That's the best totem I got, but, you know, we're living with it. I don't know how much of this has changed since my Kinesis video, aside from a few obvious things like the, the weapons and some other stuff that I cubed this past weekend. But other than that, I think most of it is more or less the same as it was. I got this from RLH as well. Finally got a codex set because they fixed card drops, so that's cool. Uh, this belt changed significantly. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Mm, weapon obviously upgraded quite a bit since the uh, the switch to Evan. I don't think this has really changed much. Uh, this bonus spot was cubed this past weekend, which is really good. I'm really happy with that. Uh, the hat is. One of the things I'm most proud of, weirdly enough, because I got minus three seconds of cooldown, which is going to be really significant after the, the Evan revamp. Not so much right now, but soon it will be very good. Uh, and then these are... Uh, I guess these are new. Yeah, I made these after I switched. So those are nice. Just some extra drop rate. Uh, this The bonus spots need work, though. I'm going to work on that eventually, I guess. Top is better, I think. I think it used to be like 12% or something, so made some upgrades there. Pants are pretty much the same. Boots are pretty much the same. I got a battle roid, which is really nice. Just saves my buffs and acts as a store. Really convenient. Uh, these gloves are almost, I'm pretty sure they haven't changed at all, so. That's that. I really need to get like min or max crit on these, but every time I've tried to black cube them, it doesn't really go well. Uh, this is basically the same. I think the bonus spot might be slightly better. Earrings are still really good. Uh, I'm using a Tower of Oz emblem until we get the level 100 ones with the revamp, because I don't. There's not really a point in cubing a uh, a boss arena one since I would just be upgrading eventually anyways, so it'd be like a waste of money, pretty much. Uh, Ghost Ship, not the best. Need to get that to Legendary, but otherwise, fine, I guess. Uh, I just got Future Warrior from the uh, the Masteria through time stuff. It's a pretty nice metal. Uh, shield, upgraded quite a bit, at least potential-wise. And I think I landed a few more scrolls on it as well. So it's 18 now instead of 16 or whatever it was. Cape obviously still needs some work, uh, mostly with the main pot, like the uh, the ghost ship badge. Also, these both need some more stars, which hopefully I'll do next time there's a, a scroll sale for guardians. And then I made this pretty recently to uh, upgrade from the electronic art I used to have because obviously the battle roid couldn't use it. So this really boosted my damage quite a bit. It was very nice. Um, that's my outfit. Uh, pet stuff. I just transferred the pets from my Kinesis with the uh, the NX transfer event. So I don't know if I showed these in that video, but pretty solid scrolling aside from this one. But I'm not going to redo it or anything. So uh, Android's not wearing anything. Then we have some Dragon armor. Still need to get one more uh, cog for that. And then got some other stuff. I still haven't found a reverse or abyss pendant. So we're just rolling with the silver until we get that. Uh, that's pretty much it for the actual equips. And then we have the, the decent skill stuff, which has been the same for a long time. Uh, this top that I just use for Lotus, pretty much. And sometimes when we do hard Lotus. Uh, this overall for jump questing, mostly in Tower of Oz, and then drop gear, drop gear, drop gear, drop gear, drop gear. 
So that's pretty much that. Uh, my stats have improved quite a lot. I'm almost at the same point as I was on my uh, my Phantom when I quit, as far as int goes. In fact, I think if I was 230 like my Phantom was, I would be ahead of where I used to be in terms of luck, but just buff up to see how the buffs improve my stuff here. Mm, okay. Yeah, we're almost at 24, which is, I think, where my Phantom was when I quit. So, if I was the same level, I would definitely be ahead of where I used to be, which is nice. I'm glad I'm finally at a, a level where my, my mage gear is up to snuff with my thief gear. Uh, Hyperstats will probably be redone as I level more. I'm just kind of, I threw my last few points in like int, which isn't really worthwhile, but I didn't really have anything else to put them in because everything else needed more for a level. And I'm impatient. So that's that. Um, inner is 16 boss, 10 drop. There's not really many good inners for Evan, at least not right now. Like, attack speed doesn't matter both now and after the revamp, so I don't need that. And then I already have 100% crit with uh, decent sharp eyes, so I don't need crit rate. Um, buff duration might be useful just for convenience sake, but I don't really care. So I'm just sticking with boss for now. And we have 77 max crit, 73 min crit. I think the... is the max actually my max now? Yeah, okay. So, like, the 62 right now is my, my max crit. It's actually lower than my min crit, which is why they're flip-flopped, but the decent sharp eyes gives you 15% max crit, which is convenient. Gets me up to a nice range there. Much higher than my, uh, my phantoms was, weirdly enough. Uh, quite a lot of boss, but that's mostly because of the, uh, if I could get it up, the, uh, the emblem which will be changed eventually after the revamp to be more uh, magic attack focused than boss focused. Um, lots of PDR, probably too much to be honest, but I cubed these for a while and these are the best lines I could get, so kind of just living with it. Status resist is pretty bad, but not quite um, max willpower. Still working on that taken a while, but hopefully we'll get there one day for that extra 10%, and then once the, the revamp happens, we actually get like an extra 20% from a passive, so that'll be like livable instead of the crappy 56 it is now. Um, since I have upgraded a lot, I did dojo a few times, and I've gotten much faster than I was in my, uh, my dojo video. Last week I managed to get uh, 11.23 before the cube stuff, and this week I got 10.25. Um, this could probably be even faster right now. It wasn't a great run, but I'm not actually going to bother recording a new dojo video until the uh, the Maples 11 anniversary patch, because we're getting like a weird... It's, it's technically a nerf for Evans, but for me it's going to be like a buff, sort of, because... Um, what happens is, if you don't know, Evans have like, let's see if I can find this skill. I think it was fifth job, yeah, okay. So this reduces, uh, or it ignores elemental resistance up to 100%, which is really, really strong for stuff like, uh, like CRA, Hard Magnus, etc. Most classes only have like 10% of this. In fact, I think most uh, melee classes have zero, but I could be wrong. But yeah, this this significantly boosts your damage against um, against bosses with high resistances, and most mages have a lot of uh, elemental ignore, and it's getting nerfed with this upcoming balancing to like 10% instead of 100. So if your damage isn't already like really high, this is going to be a pretty big nerf for you because the only thing we get in compensation is 50% final damage, I think. But since I'll still cap on like everything, even without like I can I can basically debuff this, and I'd still cap on everything in the game, right now because Evan is really strong with illusion, 
Like it's very easy to cap on illusion. So I don't really need the the Ella ignore right now. And then the the fifty percent final damage is actually gonna boost my damage in Dojo by quite a bit. So the dojo time will actually be getting even faster after that balancing, weirdly enough. I might do like a I might record like one run before and one run after just to see like the difference that it makes, but I'm not sure yet how that'll go. But yeah, that's uh that's pretty much where I'm at. Made quite a bit of uh progress. Still need to to level a bit more. I wanted to wait till the revamp because it makes training a lot easier after the revamp, but I might just go ahead and hit like 220 before that if we get 2x on the the weekend instead of like a weird Tuesday or Thursday Friday time like we did last week. Um so yeah, thanks for watching.